What's up, Pole family? Welcome to the channel. Today we are discussing different type of pole finishes. If you are interested in buying a pole, but you are a little conflicted on which pole finish to purchase, I'm here to share a little information about each pole finish. So let's get into it. All right, the first pole we have is Chrome. This is most commonly used in dance studios, gyms, and clubs. It is great for all level experienced dancers. It is the easiest to maintain and it is also the least expensive. Um, I will say about this pole, the downfall is in the winter time, it tends to be a little more slippery, especially if you have drier skin. Uh, that was a no-go for me and I switched over to a powder coated pole, which is a little better. Next up, we have stainless steel. This is good for dancers who have a nickel allergy. It is also commonly used in studios and gyms, and it is best grip in warm and humid climate. The thing about stainless steel is over time, they tend to rust and develop a whole bunch of scratches on them. So a little harder to maintain than chrome, but it's still a great pole. Now let's get into the brass. This pole is a little on the pricey side, but it is great for uh, dancers who have a nickel allergy. It is great for dancers who tend to sweat excessively. The better the sweat, the more the grip. <laughs> the hotter the temperature, the better the grip as well. This is great for uh, humid and warmer climates. So that pole is a little harder to maintain as they tarnish over time. Next up, we have powder coated poles. This is a mixture between chrome and silicone. Uh, if you struggle to grip on chrome or stainless steel, this would be your next option. Although the grip is a, it's a tiny little better, you still will have to train your grip strength. Next up, we have silicone. This is the stickiest pole, the easiest grip pole. The pole that everyone loves is silicone. Okay, now, with silicone. If you are not fully clothed, you can get some serious burns. I will recommend you being fully clothed on a silicone pole. If you already have a chrome pole and you are interested in purchasing a, a silicone pole, they do sell pole wraps. There are some on Amazon. Okay, the downfall about silicone poles is when you are trying to be fluent in your uh, pole moves and tricks, the poles tend to stick to your clothes and your skin. Now, let's get into the pole companies. I purchased my first chrome pole from Fit to Fun. I love Fit to Fun. It is a black owned business. They are budget friendly as well. Um, the thing about my Fit to Fun Plo, I don't know if it was the base because their, their bases are square. I don't know if it was the base, but it constantly slipped off my ceiling. Um, I did have accurate measurement of my ceiling and I did get the correct adjustment poles. I'm not sure why it kept slipping off, but I have my uh, loopy pole up for a few months now and it hasn't moved at all. Next up, we have our loopy poles. These are high quality pole finishes. Um, they definitely sell. These are high quality pole finishes. They sell almost every finish. They do not sell silicone or brass, but they do have very good high quality finishes. Let's get into the X pole. This is also another high quality pole company. Um, I believe they have every finish. I don't know if they sell brass, but I believe they have every finish. And like I said, this is a very pricey company, but it is great for um, sport events, competitions, and things like that. Now let's talk a little bit more about polling okay if you tend to sweat excessively and you use grip a lot i do i've heard from another dancer that if you use shaving cream or gel on your legs and thighs you tend to stick a little bit more to the pole please invest in some pole grip it is not a cheat it's you're not cheating i promise okay don't feel bad if you use pole grip i use pole grip every time i get on the pole also, if you constantly clean your pole with rubbing alcohol in a rag, you will also have a better grip. So definitely invest in some grip if you tend to sweat a lot and you're like me and have clammy hands. Please do not wear any lotion or oils when you hop on the pole, especially if you work at a club. You want to be considerate of the other girls who get on the pole after you because they can have serious injuries and slip off. 
most poles do have the option of spin and static. Static is when the pole does not move. Uh, you can do static for like mostly tricks and things like that. I love spinning. I rarely put my poles on static, but they do have a spin option as well. My loop it pole comes in two options. Well, two settings, which is static and spin pole. My chrome pole from Fit to Fun also came in a spin and static uh, setting. Please, 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 please do not purchase poles off of Amazon or Facebook Market or OfferUp or anything like that. Th that can be very dangerous because those quality of those poles are very low. They're very cheap. Uh, they're not good chrome or they're not good stainless steel. Like, But if you are on the budget and you want to take a risk, go ahead. By all means, go ahead. But just be very careful because those type of poles can't handle all body types and they are dangerous. I have seen lots of fails and damaged ceilings because of Amazon poles. Okay, pressure poles. My pole is a pressure pole. It is very apartment friendly. It is vendors friendly. Uh, apartment, mm. Pressure poles is about the best option. They do have poles where you can drill in, which is permanent. But if you want to switch your poles out, get a pressure pole. If you want apartment friendly, renters friendly pole, get a pressure pole. Um, and please measure your ceiling before purchasing a pole. That is very important. You do not want to get a too long pole. You do not want to get a too small pole. Or you will have to buy adjustment rods, which is a little bit, you're spending more money. You're spending more money. So that is all of the pole finishes. Um, and that is a little bit of the pole talk. If you guys want more in-depth details about pole finishes, let me got let, let me know. And thanks for tuning in.